Hi, it's Ilcha here from Solid Tech, and today we're going to look at a few assembly analysis tools in SolidWorks, mainly clearance, interference, and collision detection. These are a few of the many analysis tools in SolidWorks which make assembly review and finished product assessment very easy and robust. To demonstrate these techniques, I'm going to use this model of a flashlight here. I'm going to start with clearance detection, and it's uh, my intention to measure the clearance between the two batteries inside. The clearance verification module can be found under the evaluate tab. So if I click on that, I can then select my two components that I'm interested in and I'll click on calculate. My clearance is shown in the results window down here, as well as the graphics area. If I turn my view and zoom in, we can see that SolarWorks tells us this is the location of the minimum clearance and the clearance is 0.276 millimeters. I also have the option of uh, calculating the clearance between the selected items and the rest of the assembly. So if I select this option down here and recalculate, this way we get a few different results and the minimum one is obviously over here. And if I turn my view around and zoom in, I can see that the minimum clearance between the rest of the assembly and these two batteries is 0.646 millimeters, and it's in that location here. So this is how easy it is to calculate the clearance in SolidWorks. Next, we're going to look at calculating the interference. Components in the flashlight have been designed and assembled, and from a visual perspective, they uh, look quite well. However, we don't want to be sending these components to mass production and later find out that they don't quite well fit together. This can turn out to be very costly and it's the reason we want to make sure there are no interfering components in the assembly. The interference detection module is also found under the evaluate tab. If I click on interference detection, my assembly is automatically selected and then I can click on calculate. Down in the results, I see there are two interferences that have been detected. As I select each one, SolarWorks highlights the volume and gives me the location of where interference is occurring. Furthermore, the intersecting volume is given of 0.6 millimeters cubed. And if I further expand my results, I can see which components are interfering with each other. If I select that and zoom into the area where interference is occurring, I can have a better idea of what's really happening. We can clearly see that the tab of the holder is slightly wider than the gap in which it needs to fit. So had we manufactured these components in the state that they are, a lot of post-processing would be required and this will cost time and money. So now that we have detected the problem, we can go ahead and fix it. And we can do that by opening our subassembly and go into the problem area over here. If I double click on the tab, and change this dimension from 5.3 millimeters to 5 and rebuild the result we can see that this is something more like what's needed i'm going to now save and close this component and recalculate the interference in our assembly we can now see that there is no interference in the results and the components are as they should be Sometimes, however, although components are not interfering with each other in their static state, there might be interference while moving. In order to check this, SolidWorks has a module called Collision Detection, which, as the name suggests, detects when physical model items collide in motion. Collision Detection can be found under the Assembly tab and under the Move Component option. Our Collision Detection option can be found down here. But before I get into that, I just want to focus our attention on this part of the assembly. The flashlight has been designed so that the head rotates around like so. And we have a design intent that the rotation angle should be no less than 90 degrees. Now I'm going to go back into move component and I will choose collision detection as my option. I have a choice between detecting collision between all components in the assembly and certain components only. And in this instance, I'm going to choose these components only and select the head and the swivel. The reason for that is because I know that motion 
can only be seen in this part of the assembly. I'm going to now resume drag and move my head like so. As I move the head, we can see that it stops as soon as there is contact. And the contact face is also highlighted, giving us visual feedback. And if I rotate my component around, similarly to the outside, we can see the contact area there. If I switch to my top view now and have a look at the motion, I can see that my design intent of 90 degrees isn't quite met. I'm going to accept this and in order to get my required angle, I'm going to edit this part. What I want to do is I want to round off these edges so that I can get my result. I'm going to do this by introducing a fillet. So I'm going to choose fillet and I want a fillet of one millimeter and I want to select the four edges in contact. To accept that and save and close my part. Yes, I would like to update my assembly also. If I go back now into collision detection, I choose just my same components and just resume drag. I can see that my movement now extends beyond the 90 degree design intent. One other option that I have down here is dynamic clearance. If I check this and choose the components between which I want to check the dynamic clearance and I resume drag, what we can see is SolarWorks giving us a live feedback of the minimum clearance between these two components. Notice as I move towards the point of contact, we will see the minimum clearance location as well as the value changing. So this is how SolarWorks clearance, interference and collision detection techniques can be used in order to correctly, accurately and quickly finalize the design of a product.